Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to Summertime Tarot. For those of you who don't know, my name is Summer. If you're new here, I just want to say welcome. I'm really glad that you could find this place. Hopefully this reading will be helpful, it'll resonate. If so, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, leave some comments down below, right? And for the folks who have been rocking with your girl for a little bit now i really appreciate you i just want to say thank you for watching the videos thank you for liking commenting sharing subscribing i really appreciate you okay but this here is a couple's love reading for the sign of scorpio so sun moon rising sign but we're just going to be taking a look at what's going on with you your boo thing any messages advice that want to come through for you okay so let's go ahead and get started let's see what's going on with scorpio and their boo thing Oh, wow. Okay. That's a lot. <laughs> okay. Bottom of the deck, we have manifestation. So we have here forgiveness, divine masculine, abundance, sexual freedom, the sacred woman. Creativity, self-respect, and distorted feminine. Okay. So I kind of get already off the top, I kind of get the feeling that some of you may have experienced maybe some infidelity in the relationship or something to do with how you're right because we do have the divine masculine here and the sacred woman how your partner was was acting they could have done something they may have been like focusing their energy their attention on things outside of the relationship right here with abundance they could have been focusing on um work but i kind of get the feeling here with sexual freedom it may have been they may have been you know some infidelity in the past maybe even with the self-respect some of you may have walked away but i kind of feel here if you did walk away with the distorted feminine um you kind of found your way back together um so for those of you who that resonates with i kind of feel like you are in a space currently where you're trying to kind of come back together in a peaceful way in a way that is in alignment with the both of you here right with the sacred woman i feel like you you are in a space now right where you like in the past you may have been very hurt or to the point where you kind of went along with whatever your partner wanted but now i kind of get the feeling here with the sacred woman you're really focused on yourself you're focused on your own abundance your own like creativity your own freedom the things that you want but at the same time there may still be some things here with forgiveness that you still need to release and to let go of right i also feel with creativity here you guys are in a space where you are trying to come back together in a new way in a way that is best for the both of you um but i kind of get the feeling here with this distorted feminine coming up there may be some still some some hurt some pain that you need to release and to let go of in order to kind of come together in a good way okay but let's see let's put that right there right or it could be like if this 
relationship if there was no infidelity maybe you experienced that in the past and because of that you know you may be very like shielded protected like protecting your energy in this relationship almost to the point where it may be making it hard for you guys to kind of come together right but i feel here with this manifestation you are in a space where you're trying to you know work through i feel this with this distorted feminine these hurt emotions right these things that may have caused you a bit of trauma in the past excuse me in order for you guys to come together in a good way okay but let's see second so let's see what's going on with scorpio and their boot thing Okay, bottom of the deck we have here the Queen of Wands. So I kind of get the feeling, you know, if you if you are the group of folks that may resonate with, you know, maybe some infidelity in the past. I kind of get the feeling because of this, you may be currently in a space where you're like detached from the relationship to the point where you don't want to like give. There may be some issues with intimacy to the point where like, um, you know, you may have, you know, just closed up shop like we we not about to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what I'm getting here with this six of pentacles and um the two of swords but also i kind of get the feeling you know even if there isn't any infidelity it just may be in a you guys may be in a space where you're just not feeling like all that comfortable in the relationship at this current time or you may be just focusing on giving your energy to other things right with abundance here you may be focusing on like yourself getting yourself together, getting your money right, getting, you know, other priorities in check before kind of putting your energy into connecting with your partner, right? Here as the block, we have the emperor and the six of wands.
Yeah, so I feel like this emperor, it's almost like this emperor is ready, but right, we do have the emperor and the divine masculine. I feel like the emperor here is like trying, is ready and wants to kind of take the lead. But I almost get the feeling that, you know, the feminine energy may, be, may not be ready to kind of um, surrender or kind of relinquish control over certain things. Right? Because here we do have the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. I mean, the Ace of Wands. Right? I feel like... The image that's coming to my mind is like blowing out a candle. Like it's almost like there may not be a lot of passion or a lot of fire within the relationship. And I feel like if that's so, it's because there isn't a lot of like intimacy or like uh, connectiveness in that respect. Right? Was Did I see intimacy here? Yeah, intimacy here is here under manifestation. Yeah, I feel like it's like... If there isn't any passion here, right, because this is what this looks like, where you guys aren't connecting, there may be a disconnect when it comes to, you know, physical intimacy or just, you know, connecting to one another. I feel like it's because, you know, you may be, right, because we do have the the emperor here. The emperor looks ready, right? But I kind of feel like you're not ready. You're not ready to make that move or to connect in that way. And I feel like it's because you're not emotionally either like stable or you or you just don't feel connected in that way you don't feel like the love there right in the past we do have the knight of cups and the seven of swords yeah i feel like it's like yeah not feeling like your your emotions are being listened to or heard or you just may not be feeling connected or it could just be you know your fo your focus is elsewhere right with the knight of cups you could just be really wanting to um focus on different things right now right with the energy coming in here we have the seven of pentacles and the nine of pentacles Yeah, I do kind of feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, you may have been waiting, patiently waiting until you feel like your best, feel like the best self or feel like you're you're ready to kind of come together with your partner in that manner. But I feel like it may have to do with like your own kind of confidence or even just your confidence in the relationship or your, you know, the connectivity in the relationship. You may be feeling like it's not there. And because of that, you know, you don't feel like you want to you want to connect or you may not be you know feeling like you guys are connecting but here in the near future we have the not the queen the <laughs> the two of cups and the magician here so yeah we have manifestation energy here with the magician i feel like this is really kind of working some magic kind of almost like you guys coming together Oh man, but um Yeah, I feel like very much like working on you guys' emotional connection in order to feel comfortable moving in a physical way, right? Because I do kind of get the feeling, right? Like I was saying, either either someone Maybe, you know, there was infidelity in this relationship or maybe you experienced infidelity in another relationship, with me, which makes you kind of feel, you know, kind of close up when you don't feel um, connected or you, you don't feel like your, your emotions are being heard or when you don't feel like, you know, there's love and, and, and connectivity in, in, in a sensual way which kind of makes you feel like you don't want to connect in a physical way. You get what I'm saying? And so then we have here the hangman and the fool here as your energy. Yeah, I feel like it's like you're even it could just be you're just waiting for the right time. 
you know, when waiting till you feel like it's it's right for you guys to to move into this thing together. And it and it may not be that it's you know sexual it could be you know maybe you guys moving in together or you guys kind of settling down together right and you may not feel ready at this time but i feel like it's because you're 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 waiting until i feel like the time is right and then here in your your partner's energy we have the 10 of cups and the 5 of wands yeah, I feel like they may be in a space here with this Ten of Cups where they feel like things are good and they don't understand, you know, what what's the hold up or what's the issue? Like why, you know, why aren't we moving in this direction? What's what's causing this? They that's what I'm getting here. All right. And then here with your advice, we have the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like, you know, this is very much wait till you, you feel comfortable. This is what this looks like to me. Wait till you feel comfortable. But I also feel like it may be important for you to express why you don't feel comfortable with whatever this is, right? If it's um, maybe even just sharing a bank account or something like that or sharing your passwords or something, right? Whatever that step is for you, I feel like, you're waiting until you feel comfortable and I feel like your your partner may be in a space where they don't understand why you don't feel comfortable so it may be you know time for you to express like okay this is you know these are the things that I need to line up for me to feel comfortable moving in this way moving in this direction you get what I'm saying okay and then as the outcome here we have the devil and the Knight of Swords. Yes, I feel like there's going to be communication about, you know, you guys' desires, what you want. What do you want? What do you like? You know what I mean? But let's go ahead and clarify. So let's clarify the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Excuse me. Sorry for the hon the horn the horn in the background. All right. So we have here oh this is a lot. All right. We have the four of wands, the eight of wands, the five of wands, the page of wands the star and the ten of cups yeah I kind of feel like there there may be some some fear here some trepidation Which may be why, like, you know, you may be holding back. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit. Yeah, I kind of get the feeling like you want to understand, you want to, but also like to be understood, for your feelings to to be understood, for your, for your, for like an emotional connection, the deepening of an emotional connection before moving forward right and i do kind of feel like with this eight of wands yeah some of you may be in a space where there may be you know talks of maybe moving in together or you know something like that but i feel like you may be in a space where you you want the you want to feel a deeper connection before moving in that way okay but let's look at the Emperor and the Six of Wands. All right. 
So we have here the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the um, Judgment card, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this emperor, mm, this emperor, maybe in a space where like they're just ready to kind of leave all the, you know, all that stuff behind, all the past behind. Um, they feel like it's time. Almost like what's the hold up? Like you know, almost like I let it go, or I'm ready. You know. But I kind of feel like with this this Knight of Swords here, they may just be thinking about their own desires. And they may not be seeing it, you know, through your eyes. But I kind of also get the feeling here with this Eight of Swords, right? If you look if you look at the image, like they're I don't know if you can see that, but um, they're just not, they're not seeing eye to eye. So I feel like you may not be seeing it from their perspective. They may not be seeing it from your perspective. It's like a, it's a need for, I feel communication here about, you know, what, what both of you want so that you guys can come on the same page. But let's look at this eight of swords and this ace of wands. Woo! Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have the Page of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the World. I'm hearing um. Whenever you wanna get down, I'll be around. Cause I'm in no hurry. Okay. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. I almost feel like here with the page of swords, the six of wands in the world, you may have been like in the past, you may have been quick to, to make moves in your relationships or maybe even, um, to open up to, you know, maybe even like express your feelings, but I feel like that may have led to maybe like some 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 past hurts or some past pains, which is now kind of kind of causing you to to think more um I don't want to say more rationally, but I feel like kind of maybe even like second guess yourself or to you know, dot your I's and cross your T's. Make sure everything is right before you move. You get what I'm saying? So let's look at this Knight of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, almost like you may you may feel like in the past you got burned. And now it's like, no, I gotta, I gotta... You know, think differently. I got to look at all angles before I make these moves. All right. So let's see. Knight of Cups and the Seven of Swords. All right. So we have here... Um, the Hierophant, the Three of Cups, the Page of Cups, and on the bottom of the deck we have here the Six of Swords. Yeah, you could you could even very very well be just like very suspicious here with the Seven of Swords. And I feel like you may be like trying to keep a clear head and to see things. Um, clearly, 
right and not so much so move on feeling because i feel like here like they i feel like with the seven of swords and this knight of cups you may be aware that your feelings can kind of get you crossed up <laughs> is the best way i can kind of explain it <laughs> like like your feelings can kind of um mislead you so i do kind of get the feeling you do you do want you do want you, you you want to connect with your partner in this deeper way or on this deeper level but you may be keeping your distance Almost like staying ahead of the game. That's what's coming what's coming to my mind. Okay, but let's look at the seven of pentacles and this nine of pentacles. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups, Justice, the Nine of Swords, and on the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. I almost get the feeling like you is you may be feeling pressured, or you, you know. But I feel like it's really you're you're trying to make sure that you're in the in in the right mind frame to to do mm, to do what's best for you, right? Because I do feel like there is like this maybe even like very hot and steamy connection. But you it's like you don't want that to cloud your judgment. Okay. Let's look at this two this two of cups and the magician. Yeah, and some of you, you you know, you may just be really like waiting for um, a strong commitment. You know, say if you're not like, you know, really committed or something, you could be like waiting for strong commitment before moving forward. Okay, so then here, clarifying the two of cups and the magician, we have the seven of cups, the page of pentacles and the chariot in reverse bottom of the deck. We have the six of cups yeah i kind of feel like some of you may need more time to figure out what you want to do before moving forward or to figure out what you want almost like in a, what you want in the relationship what you want out of the relationship but also I kind of feel like you may you may need more time to kind of process what has occurred in the past right be it within this relationship or in another relationship um yeah before you're ready to kind of move more so like into this relationship right but let's look at your energy here with the hangman Ooh. so the three of swords wants to pop out but I'm put it back the hangman and the fool so with the three of swords you may you know still be um dealing with some sadness right like with the distorted feminine Still processing some emotions. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
Ooh. Okay. So we have clarifying the hangman and the fool. We have the ten of pentacles, the hangman, and the queen of cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the magician. Yeah. It could be right with here with the with the fool being here in your energy. You may not be, you know, ready to kind of settle down yet. You may still be, you know, wanting to explore your options here with the seven of cups before um, embarking on like a, a another, I say another because I feel like, you know, you've had relationships in the past, another committed relationship. Or you could even be feeling like, you know, maybe questioning whether or not your part, how, you know, questioning how committed your partner is to this relationship, which is making you here with this Queen of Cups here. I feel like um, maybe second guess or kind of detach yourself from the relationship in order to kind of heal and to work on yourself to to work through your own kind of emotional feelings, right? I feel like here with this Queen of Cups being here in reverse, there's still some things that you're holding on to that, right, with the forgiveness showing up that you, you may not have released just yet. Right, and it may be manifesting itself here with this ma magician in your kind of almost kind of detachment not getting too close not wanting to get too close to someone okay but let's look at your um partner's energy here with this ten of cups and the five of wands so we have the ace of wands in reverse bottom of the oh ace of wands queen of pentacles ace of pentacles bottom of the deck we have the tower this is giving me a lot of sexual energy man here <laughs> wow okay um right doesn't that doesn't that look very phallic to you is it just me oh my gosh but Yeah, I kind of get the feeling that Yeah. With this showing up here in their energy, the Queen of Pentacles and the um Ace of Pentacles. Either they, you know, either they realize that you, you don't want something that's just, you know, like short term, like hit it, quit it, that kind of thing. But I kind of feel like because this is in their energy. Right. And the way she's looking at this Ace of Pentacles, I feel like they want something committed. They want something solid here with this Queen of Pentacles and this this Ten of Pentacles. But with the tower here. They could be in a space where they. They feel they feel conflicted because they they may be 
fearing that here with this ace of wands here that the connection may not like shift or last is kind of what I'm getting I hope this makes sense let's get some more here I feel like there's, yeah. All right, with the Seven of Swords here, the King of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Yeah, and the Moon on the bottom of the deck. I don't know how I feel about this. All right, it's giving me... They may not know how they feel or what they want. I feel like they're aware of what you want. But they may not be expressing completely their intentions, their desires. But I do kind of feel like they see the potential here for the relationship, for it to be long term. But whether or not they're ready to give, I'm I'm not I'm not completely certain. I couldn't say to be honest. But I feel like you may be feeling that as well, right? You you're unsure about their intentions, what they want. So I feel it's it's going to be important for you to so like voice your concerns, voice how you're feeling. Okay. Well, let's see here. Your, oh. Let's clarify the outcome here with the devil and the knight of swords. Okay, so we have here the Four of Swords, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Sun. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. Yeah, I do kind of feel here with this Four of Swords, there is a need to like still heal, right? With the Six of Pentacles, don't we have it? Yeah, we have the Six of Pentacles here too. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is like focusing on kind of almost like cutting out the, what is it? The cancer. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if that's a saying, but <laughs> or like getting to the root, getting to the root of like the issue, the problem, right? For some of you, it may be that 
you know, you're questioning your partner's intentions. Do they want something long term or are they here, you know, for a short while? For others of you, you may have like experienced infidelity in the past and you're kind of questioning whether or not, you know, they're even willing and ready to kind of work through this and come together and, and to start anew, right? But I kind of feel like here with the outcome, I feel like with the four of swords and the, and the, and the six of pentacles with the sun, I feel like, yeah, it's like your partner's true intentions are going to be revealed, I feel, right? But it may take some time. And I feel like until then with the six of pentacles, it's going to be, you know, important for you to like stay aware here with this, with this knight of swords to, but also communicate, right? But also with the six of pentacles, you know, you may feel like, you know, it may be time for you to kind of step back and to kind of let things come to the surface. Okay, it could be with through communication or what have you. But let's um, get some more. Let's see what the ancestors have to say to go along with this advice for the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords, the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Fool. Bottom of the deck, we have here the Queen of Wands again. The Queen of Wands is showing herself today. All right. Like, I feel like you may not be wanting to um, take the leap, take the step and kind of communicate what you're feeling or what you're seeing. But I feel like it may it may be time to. Yeah. Right. It may be time for you to kind of move outside of your comfort zone and to and to. Let your like let your true feelings and desires be known for some of you it may even you know it may even be time for you to kind of with the four of cups and the and the fool to walk away from this situation to trust your intuition to trust your gut and kind of disengage Right, because here with this Queen of Wands showing up twice, I kind of feel like it's kind of time for you to take your power back to kind of to start moving with conviction and, and trusting your own like feelings, trusting and doing what's best for you. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah. But let's go ahead and get some, I'm going to close this off with some advice. So what's the advice here for Scorpio? So we have here dog, friend. We're gonna read from the book for this as well. So let me get to the page. Excuse me, but it says, today I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am a protector and friend. When you think of the word dog, it is often followed by the term best friend. Dog people are some of the best companions any of us can have. Those with dog as totem have a tremendous capacity to love. Dog people are often found helping others and serving humanity. They have an uncanny ability to know the character of others, sniff out problems, and sense the truth. Dogs have acute hearing. This gift helps alert others to impending danger. If dog is your totem, you are a protector, friend, and playmate. When you don't like someone, you are very vocal about it. You easily forgive the shortcomings of the human family. You are brave in the face of danger. Dog people have a very kind and loyal nature that can be taken advantage of. Watch out for this and remember to love and protect yourself as well. With dog as totem, you may be drawn to a life of service and will be devoted to your friends and your worthy mission. Have you forgotten to be your own best friend and take care of yourself? Are others taking advantage of your generous nature? You can say no. Have you been barking too much? You can play more. Don't let others abuse your loyalty, okay? I feel like that's huge. Don't let others abuse your loyalty, okay? Because I do, like, like I said, what does it say? You have, you know, a keen nose. You can sniff out problems and sense the truth, right? I feel like it's just time for you to connect to that, right? With this Queen of Wands coming up, I feel like it's... It's time for you to get back connected to yourself. And I feel like your intuition. And to listen to it. No matter what, you know, your situation is. But also to trust your intuition and move according to it. Right? Don't like see or feel things and then kind of be like, oh, it's that's just my imagination. No. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you know, listen to yourself. Trust yourself. Believe in yourself, okay? But let's see what the final message here is for Scorpio. So we have here memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world for neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. Right. I also feel like with the memories card coming up. Um, you know, make sure that you're. You're listening to your intuition and not kind of like replaying old memories or anything or like thinking back to the past, right? Make sure that if, you know, you do get a sense that something is familiar to something that happened in the past, that you're not allowing your emotions to get the better of you, but that you're really right with the King of Cups and the Queen of Swords here. I feel like it's, it's a balance between like feelings or intuition and logic, right? 
don't just like go with one or the other right make sure that you're connecting with both that you're listening to your intuition and you're you're also like paying attention to you know the signs the what you're seeing okay but that's all i have for you scorpio i hope this reading helped you in some way please let me know down in the comments how i resonated if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this one don't forget to subscribe to the channel i truly appreciate you and hope to see you soon peace out